I'm Dan from Your Diary. I'm Raina. And I like beer. I also like beer. And uh, a couple of years ago, I got a beer making kit. This big white bucket and all the stuff and it sat in the bucket because it was so complicated and I never got around to doing it. But I've always thought, how cool would it be to actually make our own beer? That's where, ooh, Brew Firm comes in. Brew Firm has these kits, which are no cook kits. So you don't need to actually do any cooking. You get the mix, you get all the ingredients, and all you need to do, as it says here on the site, is you get everything you need in one box, actually just one bucket, and you just add sugar and water. So we are going to make some beer, but let's talk for a second about the Brew Firm kit. The basic kit, there are three different basic starter kits you can get. They range in price from $89.99 right now, usually $119.99. There's one that's $149.99 usually, it's $99.99. And there's one that's another one that's $149.99, and it also is $99.99. So for just under 100 bucks, like literally just under by a penny, you can get everything you need to make beer. Beer. Because I like beer. He likes beer. I like beer. The only thing you need the bottles. And the nice thing also is that the company also sells accessories, including you can buy bottles which are Grolsch type bottles, which actually have the flip tops. So you don't even have to deal with capping it and pushing the cap down. So here's the deal. We're going to actually unbox this right now. And then we're going to do a few videos. We're going to actually do the process at each step, making it and make a video. And then we'll have the full review of it, of the Brew Firm. So the great thing about Brew Firm is that it's not just the kit. They also sell a number of different styles of beer. And all of them are no cook kits. So you just need the, the, the brew kit that you order and this and the bottles and you're good to go. No cooking required. So what do we have as far as the, the different types? There is a triple terror, which is? A strong and malty beer that's slightly spiced. There's the Flemish Fiend. An aromatic beer with lingering licorice notes. There's the Belgian 1774. A brown ale with light sourness and a sweet aftertaste. The Double Dom. A Belgian double that's dark, chocolatey, and rich. Divine Deliverance. A Belgian IPA with that signature herbal bitter aftertaste. That's the one you want. No. There's the Pious Pilsner. A refreshing Pilsner with a slight bitterness and a hop aroma. There's the Beastly Belge. A true Belgian ale with malt undertones and a soft finish. There's the Bighorn Blonde. A full-bodied yet balanced beer with high alcohol content. The Sinister Stout. A dark smooth beer with hints of chocolate and coffee. Mm. Sacred Saison. A richly golden beer with flavors of herbs, spices, and fruit. And finally, there's Wicked Wheat. A cloudy, complex, tart, yet fresh brew. Now, each of the mixes makes 20 to 30 pints. It's a lot of beer. And it costs 30 bucks, $29.99. So basically, in this kit, there's an initial starter pack. We're gonna see what's in it. And then, after that, when we finish this, we clean out the bucket and everything, we clean out the bottles, and we start over with another one. And we're gonna try to work through all of them except for the IPA because Someone does not like IPAs. Too happy. So before we take a look at what's in the bucket, let's just talk about the bucket. What do you think of the bucket? It's big. It's, it's a, a big bucket. It's a big bucket. It makes 20 to 30 pints of beer. That's a lot of beer. I like beer. You like beer. I like beer. Have I said that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I find the faux wood uh, exterior to be kitschy and adorable. Is it kitschy or adorable? It is both kitschy and adorable. So this is what you actually make the beer in. In fact, over here, and I wasn't sure first, there's a hole in it. I was like, that's gonna be a problem for keeping everything in, but there's a reason for the hole in the beer. So let's open it up, and it's basically what's inside. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. So we get, first off, we get, oh, the mix, it's heavy. We are, the first beer we're gonna make is the Triple Terror Belgian Triple. Yum. Weighs a lot. Oof. Yeah, that is heavy. Um, we get here some labels. So you can put the type of beer, our names here, or we can go and get our own labels printed up. 
for our own beer, which probably we're going to I want do. a picture of my face on the label. Rain is brew. Rain is brew. We have a bottling compass hydrometer. Ooh. That sounds scientific. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, we've got here a bottle filler. Basically, it's a pipette. A pipette? A pipette. I feel like I'm back in chemistry. I can't believe I remembered that, that word. Um, we've got a discount code. Oh, I love a discount. 15% off. We're going to be drinking beer because I like beer. Okay. And then we've got the other small things that are in here. Let's take a look. We have an airlock. So the, when it's fermenting, it can bubble, but it doesn't actually get contaminated. We've got coasters. Ooh, that's nice. We're from coasters. We've got a thermometer. Mm -hmm. We've got instructions so we actually know what we're doing because we goodness. don't know what we're doing. We've got Buck Rider Superwash with active oxygen. This is because the most important thing you can do, okay, one of the most important things you can do is actually make sure that everything is totally clean and sterile. The bucket has to be, the bottles have to be. That's really kind of what stopped me from the process of making it when I had the last kit. We've got... That's the thing that goes in the side of the it's bucket. It's called a tap. Yes. And that's why there's a hole in the bottom of the bucket. That's and finally, we've got, this is kind of cool. It looks like mothballs. They look like mothballs. They are Buck Rider Bottle Shots Carbonation Drops. There are 60 sugar drops. So basically, when you go to bottle, you bottle, put in one of these, and then cap it, and then store it, and it gets fermented, bubbly deliciousness. So Raina's read the instructions a little bit, and um, can we start making the beer right now? It's really easy, right? It does actually look pretty easy. But? But I think it is going to take a little bit of time. And seeing as how it's Monday evening. And we both have a lot of work. We maybe want to wait until the weekend. So I'm going to enjoy this bottled beer right now. And then this Saturday, we're going to spend some time. We're going to actually make the beer. We're going to prepare the beer and we'll do that. And then it has to ferment. And then after it ferments, then we're going to bottle it. We'll do a video of bottling it. And then the bottles have to actually sit in a cool place for a while um, to finish up. I think it's seven, six to eight weeks probably, something like that. And then we'll do another video and then we're gonna drink it. But in the meantime, Brew Firm is, if this is something that sounds interesting, to you, Brew Firm is discounting all of their starter kits right now. So they're usually like 150 bucks and they're a hundred bucks. So if you ever have wanted to be a home brewer, I don't know if this actually qualifies as home brewer. If you want to be like a faux home brewer, I think it's brewing. It's not like, it's like shortcutting. It's like home brewing for me. <laughs> yes. Um, but if you ever want to do that, it's a great way to go. Just remember, if you order the starter kit you all, and you don't have bottles, you're gonna to want to go to the accessory page and you're gonna to want to get the bottles as well. Cause you do need to have the bottles there. And there's something about the Grolsch type cap that flips onto it, which is a lot, sounds a lot easier to me than having to actually physically do the metal cap with all of them. So this is Dan from Gear Diary. And Raina. And um, we're gonna make some beer this weekend. Thanks for watching.